सो लेट एस सपोज आई हैव बीन गिवन दिस एसएम चार्ट ओके एंड आई हैव बीन आस्क्ड टू डिजाइन अ लॉजिक सर्किट यूजिंग दिस एसएम चार्ट सो नाउ इन दैट केस माय फर्स्ट स्टेप वुड बी टू कन्वर्ट दिस एसएम चार्ट इनटू अ स्टेट डायग्राम ओके सो लेट्स डू दैट so we are going to convert this into a state diagram first i am going to look at state q0 okay i have q0 over here q0 is represented as 0 0 okay from this if i have 1 then i go to q1 okay so let's go to q1 q1 is represented as 0 1 okay my input is 1 and there are there is no output okay there is nothing over here and there are no condition boxes therefore there is no output okay and when input is zero i go back to q0 again okay so this is this okay let's now concentrate on q1 when input is 1 then you go to q2 okay so let's do that my q2 is 1 0 okay and when input is 0 where do i go i go back to q1 again so whoops i am here okay so when input is 0 you go back to q1 again now let's look at q2 when input is 1 you go to q3 okay so let's do it like this my q3 it is 1 1 okay so this is my q3 when input is 1 it goes to q3 okay and when input is 0 okay it is 0 over here when input is 0 then it goes back again to q2 okay so it is like this okay and finally looking at q3 when input is 1 it is going back to q0 okay so when input is 1 it goes back to q0 and when your input is 0 same state is retained okay your q3 still persists okay actually this was zero over here and we have already covered this okay so this is my final state diagram now using this state diagram i can realize my circuit okay how do i do that first i am going to draw a state table okay actually i can skip the state table part and state reduction part because i already know that this cannot be reduced okay you can verify it at your end i am directly going to go to the excitation table part of this i am going to choose d flip flops to realize this okay so i am going to write over here realizing using d flip flops okay so let's see what i have to do i have to have two flip flops okay your states are already mentioned okay 0 0 0 right so anyways you have four states so you have to have two flip flops okay so i'm going to have two flip flops let us suppose this is Q A and Q B. Okay, then I have my X input. Okay, what is X? X is this. Okay, this is the input. I am assuming this variable to be X. Okay, then I have my Q A plus one. I have my Q B plus one. I have my D inputs. Okay, let's call them D A and D B. Right. Let's complete the truth table over here. This is gonna be zero one zero one zero one and zero one. Okay. Then I have zero zero one one zero zero one one and four times zero and four times 